Okay, good evening. My name is Nathaniel Sanchez, and I'm going to be talking to you all about Norn reference test and um, Criterion reference test. Um, these are two different tests that I will be talking about today. Um, and by the way, I, when I was looking and researching these, I found some uh, debating issues about what defines norm reference and what defines criterion of reference. Um, so I'm just going to, but one thing I did find for sure that really no one argues about is the following items, the, the basics. A uh, good example would be the norm reference test. Norm reference test grades you according to how you do compared to others. That's one thing that I believe everybody agrees on, right? Um, grades you according to how well you do to others. An example of a norms reference test would be example like the SAT. On the SAT, a person cannot really pass or fail. Um, this person is really only scored according to how they do compared to others. Example, you would see the bell curve. And on this bell curve, this person would either get a score that would tell them they're exactly 50% um, in the 50% below, or they're either 50% above. That's exactly usually how it works, where 50% above is good, 50% below is bad. Or another example could be like uh, they scored in the 90 percentile, which is very good because that means they were uh, did a better score than 90% of their peers, or a 9, which uh, tells you that they did not do good because only scored about 9%. Um, better than their peers. So, norm reference tests, it depends on on others, basically. Now, I know you're the basically, you're basically the, the main factor when taking a test, but just saying another factor is that it's dependent on others, you know? You could be good, um, but what happens if your friends are better, you know? Because then it won't be as good for you if your friends are better than you are, even though you're good. You know, um, this is really good for uh, colleges. Colleges like to try to um, hire the hire, excuse me, accept the best of the high schools and so on. So they want to get that upper crowd, and that's just uh, one of the ways they figure it out. Norm reference testing, criterion reference test. A lot of people agree on it. Grades you on whether you learn the skill. All right. So a good example of learning the skill hmm, would be. The gateway test. Uh, Y'all remember the gateway test? The gateway test is a test you take in either calculus one or calculus two, where you got to get like eight out of the ten questions correctly, and you must be able to pass this test, otherwise you don't pass the class. Um, so in this test, it's either pass or fail. It's a simple, simple test. It tests you on derivatives, and I think calculus two it's on integrals, and you either pass it or you fail it. And if you fail it, you have to retake it, you know. Um, so this one really just depends mostly on 100% your skill. Depends on your skill. So those um, those things are really not too much debated. I think it's clear and everybody agrees that Cartesian reference test depends on your skill. It tries to show you if you learn the material. Whereas the norm reference test uh, it's graded according to how you've done compared to others, okay? It grades you on that matter, okay? So let's take a look. Now, I also want to show you all what uh, Wiki has to say about this. According to Wiki, a norm reference test, whoops, a norm reference test, excuse me, I don't know why it's doing that. Um, a norm reference test is a type of test assessment or evaluation which yields an estimate of the position of tested individuals in a predefined population with respect to the trait being measured. Um, that is, this test identifies whether the test taker performed better or worse than other test takers, but not whether the test taker knows either more or less in the materials necessary for the given purpose. Like I said, you could be good, but if your friends are better, then it doesn't matter. Okay, um, what else does it say about this? Ah, common uses. This test is also used for the SAT, where it compares individual students' performance to the performance of the normal sam uh, sample. 
Test takers cannot fail a norm reference test as each taker receives a score that compares the individual to others that have taken the test, usually given by a percentile. This is useful in a wider range of acceptance scores that is different um, for each college. Okay, anything else on here? Ah, here's a little uh, neat little fact on it. Um, with a norm reference test, grade level is traditionally set by a middle 50% of the scores, right? So if you want to know what's your grade level, how grade level, how to determine grade levels, you look at the median score, the mean score, right? Um, it's kind of funny because, by contrast, some foundation beliefs is essential to assure that virtually all of our children should read at an above grade level by third grade, which is kind of weird because, as you saw earlier, it will always be 50% or above and 50% or below. You know, if you're trying to look at the national population, it's graded by 50% or above, 50% or below. Now, it's okay for a school to be that higher. Like, a school could be 90% above, let's say, the nation, but when it comes down to it, it will always be half above, half below. Um, so a goal cannot be achieved but with a norm reference definition of grade level. Okay. Um, other thing Wiki was talking about was the criterion reference assessment. A criterion reference test is one that uh, is translated test scores and statement about the behavior to be expected of a person with that score or their relationship to a specified manner, um, a.k.a. did they learn it. Right. Most tests and quizzes written by school teachers are criterion reference tests. The objective is to see whether the student has learned the material. Um, and this is interesting because you would think that a criterion reference test is basically just test in school, right? Not standardized testing, uh, which I thought, honestly, the same. But it's not true. Because um, right here, for some reason, I'm, I'm honestly still not 100% sure why. They say, again, the a ACT is an example of this. There is no cut score. It is simply an assessment of students' knowledge at high school level on the subject matter. So um, criterion tests can also have been called standardized tests also. I thought um, that uh, only norm tests would be standardized tests, not criterion reference tests. And I guess that's not true. Um, different tests test differently, you know? And to me also, I think... Uh, which brings me to my last part, little personal thoughts I wanted to add um, of what I truly believe, you know, feel by after looking through my research and just reading different things and everybody is conflicting, saying this and this and this and this and so on. And by the way, uh, right here at the very beginning, it tells you right here that the examples, perspectives, article, Dilly, primarily with the USA and do not represent a worldwide view. So, like I said, everybody thinks differently about this subject. Um, but personal thoughts I wanted to add is that let's say example... A normative test. They say the school mostly is like a, a skills check. Does it grade whether you know the material or not? So a skills check could be is a let me write that down. Skills check. So a skills check. Would a skills check be a uh, norm or would it be crit? Right? Would it be norm or crit? Right? Well, norm judges whether you learned a skill or not. Right? And crit depends on how the others did. Well, and the skills check, it's supposed to measure whether you learn the material or not, right? Okay, cool. So you would think norm, right? But I also think that at the same time, it's crit. So I say it's kind of like a hybrid because if you check it out, this is my semester exam for some of my kids. Don't look at the kids' grades, right? Uh, kids' names, please. <laughs> um, if you notice, some of them um, did well. But the thing, uh, oh, sorry, main point, they're graded on a curve. Right, so the lowest score was a 15. I believe the highest score was ah, an 85, right? So basically, when you're graded on a curve, it does matter on others, you know? So let's say uh, you took the score and you sucked, right? It's okay if everyone else also sucked because then the curve would be bent to where you would be passing. Now, let's say you sucked, but all your friends were good. Then it sucks that you suck because, um, you know, then the score, your score is not going to exactly go much up because of that. So something like that, I would consider to be what I like to call a hybrid. I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm making up my own words now. I shouldn't be doing that. But, yeah, a hybrid. Uh, here's another thing. Participation. Participation, you would think. Is it a... Um, yeah, that's probably not how you spell it. My bad. Let me see here. Participation. There you go. Cool. Participation. I think it's how you spell it. Um, is it a norm or is it crit? Right? Well, 
It depends. Uh, you think, you know, how are they participating compared to others? Well, in my classroom, I would say it's neither. Let me get my camera ready. So I want to show you all something. I'm going to go ahead and say it depends, really, because uh, in this one, let me just zoom up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Second. Okay. Okay. Move that up some. Sorry, guys. I should have did this beforehand. Okay. This is just one of the the whiteboards in my classroom, and this is basically how I grade uh, participation on this, right? So on this, it's really just pass or fail, whether you were on time or you weren't, whether you're paying attention or you're not, whether you worked the entire time or at one point you stopped working, whether you have a good attitude or not is how I grade my participation in my classroom, which is, by the way, 25%. Don't judge me. No. There we go. Um, it's a huge, huge deal. So on that one, I would say that rather instead, uh, this one would probably, I would consider to be a uh, crit. Definitely a crit. So example, I would say participation is not really how are you doing compared to others or especially with others, but really it comes down to you by yourself, you know. Um, what do you get to skills? Are you doing what's necessary, you know, pass or fail? Yes or no? You're doing it or you're not? Um, okay, now the next thing I want to show you is a quick video I liked. Um, he talks a little bit about norm and crit and also about evaluation and assessment, a little bit extra. It's a 15-minute video. I cannot watch it on this, so we'll see uh, what's going to happen. I'm going to try to play it right now. 